Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Clean boat's a happy boat, mate. Clean boat's a happy boat. If you find the nut down there, you know who it is. Looking for that nut, mate. We need that other fishing line out. Yeah. <laughs> How's our day been, guys? Restful. Yeah, it's been a kind of a quiet day, haven't it? Really? How's the wind? A lot better than it was. Look at the waves. It's really picked up now, I think. We're sailing, it's We're so good. Way now. Yeah. How many yeah. miles have we got left to go? 416. Yeah, so it's brilliant. A few more days, hopefully. So on day 14, we've got this dinner. 16. Sorry, day 16. He's just going mad. <laughs> What a great dinner and that. That looks terrible. You won't want that. <laughs> Victorious. Ooh. It's gorgeous. Strawberry and cream Victorious Perfect. sponge with vanilla icing sugar, which half of it went all over D because the wind picked up when I was sprinkling it on the top. Sorry, It Dee. looks amazing though, yeah. No, it's been a good day. We've done really well. A lot of cloud around. Nice and sunny though in between. Again, look down. Yep. A bit chafing. Bit. Yeah, cut, cut a bit off the end, yeah, but um, all good. Kevin, how big? Well, just a normal portion, please. Up and down these steps. She will be having it. <laughs> That's going to come out alright in the video because I cut out the bit you said about the cream cake. <laughs> so you, you realise that you're having it. She's having some. So we're on day 18, um, sunrise in the last few minutes and we've got a pot of dolphins that have joined us which is really nice, we haven't seen hardly any on the whole journey. Um, so today we've um, still got the Jenica up, we've got it up all night. We've had steady winds of between 9 and 11 knots which has been great. Got a good night's sleep which is a change really. Um, we have got possibly one and a half days left to go. We've got uh, 200 miles to go, which should get us in somewhere between Saturday evening and Sunday morning. The latest bread project. <laughs> Let's see if this one rises. That one looks amazing, Kevin. It's huge. Yeah, it's going to be a big loaf. Well, they all look like that. It's just the movement yeah, they do. of the boat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Day 19? Yeah. Day 19 and, um, ooh, yeah, uh, daylight is just breaking. But we have got a lot of cloud and a very big squall on our starboard side. So we're just waiting for that to hit. We're ready to reef the sailing. Um, currently got 16 knots of wind. Um, and if you look at the radar, you can see it's off to our starboard side. But it does seem to be tracking a little bit faster than we are. So... 78 miles to go. To the um, iPad, so hopefully by the end of today we should be nearly there. Yeah, I mean, at six knots we'll be there for about midnight tonight. Whether we go into the marina will depend on the weather, really, and how dark it is. And yeah, how fast we go. that's a squall. And um, that's the body of it, I think. So hopefully it'll just bypass, but who knows.
So it's all happening here. We've got squalls all around us. We seem to be settled for a minute. Um, unfortunately, the energy in the, in the battery pack has dropped down to about 35%, so we've had to start the engine. We were going to put the generator on, unfortunately the generator isn't working. Um, it's not, it doesn't seem to be taking the raw water. Not quite sure about that, I don't know much about generators, I just know that we've been struggling. With we've got it. about 78 miles to go to get to Grenada. Um, well, we were going along nicely with uh, the Janelle right with the barber holder on, dead downwind, doing about six knots pretty consistently. Then the wind sort of died up to about eight, nine knots, and I thought, while well, Diane's downstairs having a rest, <laughs> we'll just quickly nip out and get the Jennifer out. So we pulled it out and we got it all set up, and we're doing anywhere between sort of six and a half and ten point eight knots. Of speed. We have got the waves helping. So Jenica and Genoa and uh, cruising along. Big sail it? area, isn't it? It's a big sail area. 9.6 there. So we need a big wave now. We do need a big wave. <laughs> 9.2. What's for tea, ladies? Indian chicken curry. So we go out on a bang. Yeah. I have spotted land. Nobody's excited except me. We're all excited. No, you're not. No, I need to see greenery. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, not land yet. So we've got a curry. Okay. Cooked by, well, prepared by Diane. Cooked by Dee and Diane. It's one of our freezer meals that we had on standby. We didn't to use it. Excellent. Pete can't leave the wheel because we're trying to get back on course. <laughs> but you can see land nearly there. A few hours yet. Got to get round the bottom of the island into a bay. That's it. You sit down there doing nothing. Yeah. Chilling out. Is this is a mechanical thing, is it? So every time the, side, the sail folds in. stops it from crashing back. So we're goose winging at the minute. We are doing an average of about seven knots, which is obviously going to get us there a little bit earlier than we thought, but uh, we might have to take the GE Jenica in as we go around the corner of the island in case of acceleration zone. So yeah, let's see what happens. So how's the wind speed? Um, the wind is about 11, 12. Uh, we do it sort of 8 to 10 knots. Um, perfect position, really. Perfect. I'll just going to see how far we've got to go. Let's have a little look on the map. Map. The chart. Sorry. So that's where we are. And we're going around here. in about half past seven, eight o'clock last night, into a nice welcome. The Viking Explorers group were here. How does it feel? No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of drink last night. Um, 
bit of excitement when we got in. It was really nice. It was. It? it was lovely. Yeah, all loads of people beeping horns and, and, and horns going waving off and, and shouting. So it was really good. But yeah, it looks lovely here. Quite a lot of breeze this morning. But we've got to move the boat. We've got to take it into the marina this morning because we're on the, uh, as you can see, super yacht dock. So how does 19 days at sea feel? Um, yeah, it's a bit surreal now. It's um, now it's all over. It's a bit like Groundhog Day every day, and you you're in a pattern and and your shifts are the same all the time and the alarm's going off at the same time and, and now it's just finished. It's weird, we don't quite it know what to do weird. with ourselves. No. We had a good night's sleep last night. Oh, it rained overnight and washed the boat, which is great. Quiet. Oh, it was amazing. With no creaks, no noises, nothing. It was brilliant. All clear on the port side, back. Okay. Watch that corner, if you will. Yeah, no problem. One and a half metre. You're in, straight back, two metres. Come on, forward. Welcome to all of you, our friends of Grenada, esteemed event organizers, sponsors, volunteers, and participants of the Viking Explorer Transatlantic Friendly Rally 2020. <laughs> to ask, please, Zara Tremlin, the marina manager from Polish Marina, to come on stage, who has been every day coming up to the boat, to the run punch, and to welcome you personally. Thank you very much, Zara. Evening, everybody. AKA the run punch lady, right? <laughs> uh, all of you guys, a magnificent achievement. I'm going to keep this very short and sweet. We are so proud to have you all here. You're a great team. We've already discovered that. to speak. Uh, we've made some really, really good friends on this trip and we feel we've got a real good connection and a good relationship with all the Swedish and all the Vikings here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Vikings, yeah. Some yeah. Swedish. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> so we'll give it a shot. Thank you very much for making some great friends and uh, thank you again for everyone. <laughs> 